Is that a Larry? No. Larry's the sock. How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to Flames Plays, and today we are checking out Laundromat Vertigo, an indie horror game available over on itch.io. I have a link in the description box down below, as well as links to my Discord, Patreon, and Twitter. If you're checking out those out, we'll go ahead and click on Enter to check out what this laundromat has to offer us. This is the best day ever. Because we're at a laundromat. Yep, we are indeed at a laundromat. I'm at the 24-7 fluffy laundromat. Wash, dry, fold. Well, it's nighttime already. Midnight, actually. I'm at the 24-7 fluffy laundromat, and it's midnight. Wash, dry, fold. Best night ever. I should definitely think of this as an adventure. It's like I'm a cool detective or something, snooping around that night. Actually, no. I'm probably the manager of this place, right? Who else would be here at this time? So I'm a manager at the 24-7 Fluffy Laundromat, and it's midnight. Wash, dry, fold. If I had to pick my favorite part of working at the 24-7 Fluffy Laundromat, don't. Wash, dry, fold. Fuck. It would probably be the cool sticky notes I can write. Such as, out of order, use other machine, please, or... Just don't press the red don't just don't press red button. That one kind of blows your shit up. You do you though. I'm not gonna stand here and interfere with your life choices. Or hey, could you come in on Sunday? These reports came in and we need them checked ASAP and you're so good at this stuff. If we're the manager, we should probably just go simple out of order. Seriously, I'm not a janitor. No. I'm at the 24-7 fluffy laundromat. It's midnight on a Sunday and I'm in my pajamas. Wash, dry, fold. I have no clean clothes left because... Busy week. Okay. There it is. My dirty laundry. Gay is upon it. I just now realized, yeah, I have... I actually have laundry that's in the washing machine. I gotta put in the dryer. I will do that in a minute, as soon as I'm done recording. My dirty laundry. Click on the laundry. Looks peaceful. What with my sock and a very thick dog hair. Nothing peaceful about it. Oh, that's not a dog hair. That's a that's that's a that's a PNG. What? Dude, can we get a little more excitement out of you? We're having a goddamn Toy Story moment right now. Sorry, I, dude, I think I might have an existential crisis or something like that. Oh, 100%. You definitely have one of those. But we'll get to that later, dude. I'm Fluff, your host for tonight. You look like a piece of lint, you goddamn piece of lint. Uh, you look like you goddamn piece of lint. Dude, what did you just call me? I'm pretty sure that's some kind of hate speech. Oh, s sorry. I don't... I don't think that being lint is a protected class. But I mean, also, if you're talking to a piece of lint, maybe don't be a dick to it. Just be like, yeah, okay, obviously I'm tripping balls or something. Because I'm going to be honest, when I was a kid and I had like this fever where I was sleep deprived and on a bunch of medication, one of the things I do remember is a sock coming to life. Which I know was a hallucination, but it still freaked me out. I, knowing, I know now it was a hallucination. Back then, as a child, I'm pretty sure I screamed my head off until my parents ran into the room wondering if I was being murdered. Possibly by a living sock. Anyway, I wouldn't meet the gang. Who? Find Larry. Larry? I don't know who... I don't know what a, what a Larry is. Dude. Just play the fucking game. Okay. Larry. Is that, is that a Larry? No. Larry's the sock. Ah, you found Larry. Hi. Name's Larry. Keeper of toes. Soaker of sweat. Glove of foot. Fluff? Dude. Don't talk to me. Talk to Larry. He is a sock. And I'm pretty sure you're just giving him a weird voice. Dude, not cool at all. Did you know Larry's totally depressed? 
Want to know why? Because he is a sock. Yeah, that's... Okay, thank you so much. You really show that you're not just a place to work, but a fa oh, You're a family? Oh. No, you can... You, any company that's like, we're not a business, we're a family. They're just trying to guilt trip you. Because he's a sock. Because of you. You don't even care about Larry, do you? I'm used to it. Sorry. Sorry. You know what you're doing to me? Every day. First you put me in your disgusting sweaty foot. The bad kind of sweat. Is there a good kind of sweat? Cold sweat. From dealing with your idiotic workplace. Stop. You're not talking about that. Whatever. Then you lock me up all day in a shoe. I call it jail. I'm literally in a jail cell. You bastard. Yo! I don't know why I'm here. Why am I here? Fran told me you're working on those reports today. Good. Submit your work before you leave. Also, see me first thing in the morning. Can I click on this? Not really. Okay. I don't know why I'm here. My my boss? May I ask what this is about? Not or not via email. It's about your performance. I've been getting reports about your sleeping episodes again. Dude. Huh? You're drooling. S sorry. I was in the office today and got a worrying email from your boss. You know about that? I'm a piece of lint, remember? I've been clinging to your sweater all day. Brutal experience. Yo, true. You don't care about us, do you? That job is not your family. We are. That, I'm... I don't know if I agree with the, the fact that Lint and a soccer family, they're, they're items you own and could possibly take care of. Definitely at least the sock. Not sure if you want to take care of Lint. Because I usually just scrape that off the filter and throw in the trash. So I'm sure there's some way you could recycle it now that I think about it. Like, even as like a craft. Whatever. You belong with us. The dirt. The dust. The cold sweat. This is stupid. I. You've been sleepwalking again. Lots of walking, actually. Not so much sleeping this time. I did? Right. I plan on finally sleeping in today, but I got this email, so I had to work today. Right. You had to. I mean, I told them to find someone else, but nobody was available. Be unavailable then. This could have been a chill Sunday with TV and chips. That is huge thing definitely when it comes to uh work make sure you set like boundaries and and not even like with your work but i mean like with yourself is that you realize like hey i need a day don't feel bad taking if if you can do not feel bad about taking a mental sick day it's actually one thing my boss has talked about in the past is like hey, if you ever feel burnt out let me know we have no problem giving you a day off or two just so you can recover. And I know that not all jobs have that, and I'm very fortunate to be able to do that. Uh, I also know that right now I have no sick time or no, no, I have, I have no vacation time because the kid I took off the month and whatever. Let's focus on the game, but just know set boundaries with everything, not just work. People understand what you need to do to make yourself feel good anyway and bare feet i might add you don't even know what's happening anymore how you got here your reply to your boss i replied again you really don't remember do not even enter this office ever again if you're not ready to throw hands fight me from now on fix your own mess why don't you come in the office right now and fight me fucker i'll be here for a while thanks for that by the way uh let's do this simple fight me Wait, no. Those are just my daydreams, right? Well, it was a dream. A dream come true. What? You did it. I did what? I got into a fight with my boss? Oof. A little more than just a fight. Huh? 
Oh, am I at the laundromat washing the blood off of my clothes? What? Just watch the machines. Machines? What's in there? Your boss, dude. Oh, crap. Oof. The machine that has his head in it will probably start the spin cycle soon. Lol. What? Yeah. You really need to get more quality sleep. True. Yeah, I definitely need sleep. I, know, I will admit that one. Especially considering all this reality morphing stuff. True. Feels kind of unhealthy. True. I'm, this could be just a daydream as well. No, that's boring. I like the murder stuff. You're right, Larry. We are probably unreliable narrators, though. That's some bullshit. True. Huh. Huh. Finally, some action, huh? This is the best day ever. Yeah, at the end of that, I was not controlling it. That's a, that's a lot of blood. Either I, we, do we fight our boss at the laundromat? Wait, yeah. What happened there? Why was there blood all over the laundromat? Did we just drag his corpse into the laundromat? Anyway, this was a laundromat vertigo. I have a few questions. I, I did enjoy it though. It was a fun little story. Fun being a broad term. But uh, yeah, it was a nice little story. Let me know what y'all thought about Laundromat Vertigo in the comments down below. Give me a thumbs up. I really do appreciate that. And also make sure to subscribe so you get updates around this new content. And as always, have a great day. Remember to perm bright. I will talk to you all later. Bye.